So welcome back to the shop, friends. So I got up early this morning and I was dyeing my hair and it dawned on me, you know what? I need to get the shop ready for winter. It's, you know how I don't spend a lot of time in the wood shop when it's nice outside. There's a lot of things to do outside. When the weather turns bad and the rain and the cold starts to come, it drives us into the shop. We do a lot of projects in here. So I was getting things cleaned up and organized and I came across something that I had forgotten that I had promised that I was going to share with you guys. And that is the Bosch Nano Blade. What may be the absolute worst tool ever produced. So this tool was sent to me by my friend uh, Ken, uh, who thought that I might get a kick out of it, being into chainsaws and all. And what, essentially what it is, is a very teeny tiny chainsaw. You know, and I would, you know, I, there, there's a lot of crummy tools out there. There's a lot of, you know, um, marketing nonsense and they're, you know, kind of fly-by-night companies. And you kind of expect that trash, you know, from a lot of people. You don't expect it from Bosch. Or I wouldn't have years ago, you know, growing up, Bosch was, it was, they, it was a premium tool. It was, it was uh, you know, I grew up in the trades. I, my dad was a general contractor, um, grew up with tools. Tools were a huge part, portion of our life. And Bosch were... We rarely bought them. They were a premium brand. They were expensive. They were German, right? Well, I don't know what's happened to Bosch, but and I and I, I, I don't like the tools anymore. And I think a lot of people don't. I don't think they're very good. Um, it, I know it's a blanket bolts. It's a kind of a blanket statement, but that's been my, our experience. So, if you've never seen one of these things, uh, this is is because they're not. I don't believe they're available in the United States. This has uh, this came with the charger and it had the that crazy European you know horizontal plug deal and I had to use like my travel adapter just to get a charge on it, and the fact that it's green instead of that Bosch blue, I believe that this is kind of geared towards the homeowner type of market or the uh, the DIYer not so much the commercial market. But even that being said, it staggers me that. The German engineers actually spent time and resources on this and they had to know. They had to know when they produced it and they were using it in a shop condition that it was absolute rubbish. But they put it out there anyway. You know, and I don't know who this would appeal to. I mean, you would have to be an absolute ignoramus to think that this thing was actually a viable tool or something that would contribute to your workload or that you could even do any sort of nice work with it at all. So what it is, just quickly before we'll, we'll put it to the test, it's a 12 volt, what, 2.5 amp hour um, tool. It's got the, you know, it's got the little tiny homeowner style batteries. It's got a lanyard you can't take off. It's off now. What's this supposed to be? The, uh, th there's a battery indicator in telling me that the battery has charge, but no level. You know, I know it has charge, it's moving, right? If we open this thing up right here, this is of course the replaceable blade. And this in itself, I mean, just as a novelty is kind of cool. I mean, it's a very teeny tiny self-contained, self-lubricated chainsaw blade. I, I mean, when I first saw it, it was, it was, it was kind of neat self-tensioning right there. I mean, it's, it's, <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's, it's, I mean, it's well put together. I mean, you look at it and the feel of it and the plastic and all of that, I mean, it, it feels quality. It even says, what, it's Germany here? Was it, no, it was made in Hungary. Not Germany. I don't know much about Hungary, but as uh, far as well, it is well put together. I mean, it's not bad, but what would you ever use it for? So they market it. I went and watched their instructional videos, and they market it as okay, so you can use it in the wood shop. You can cut two by fours with it. You can cut plywood. And they were really proud of the, proud of the fact that you could plunge cut. You know, plunge cutting. You can plunge cut with a with a reciprocating saw, but it takes a lot of skill and it's, you know, it's kind of hazardous. So you could plunge cut if you wanted to cut a mortise or something like that. And then your ladies could take it out and she could trim little branches as long as they weren't like over this big. I mean, it's just laughable. Let me show you, let's, let's, put it, let's put it to the test. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's start with something very simple. How about we start with a piece of three quarter inch plywood? I mean, what could be more ubiquitous than three quarter inch plywood uh, in the common man's shop, right? And so you need to make a cut, right? You, 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 you want to be precise. We want to do precise work. You know, we take pride in our work and, and we buy good quality German design, Hungarian made Bosch tools, right? And we need to cut a notch on there. And like, I know what to do. This is, I have just the tool here. Let's see, let's see what we can do here with it.
Now that's what I call, that's nice right there. Don't you enjoy that tear out? Look how, uh, look how effective that was and look how clean and straight all the edges are. I mean, are you kidding me? What in the world, I mean, how could you possibly, what if you wanted to cut a radius? Can we cut a radius? <laughs> Oh yeah, that, that's not my picture. That's just beautiful. Look at the tear out. I mean, what? I don't even know what to say. Okay, so it's plywood, and we have a veneered surface on there, and you know, of course, you know, that's not the, not the toughest wood right there. Let. How does it do if we want to cut maybe a piece of hardwood? Let us try a piece of maple, right? Of course, as woodworkers, we want to use nice hardwood, and we're doing our making something for loved ones or Christmas things, you know, we want to have, do some nice work. And of course we've got our beautiful German designed Hungarian built tools that we spend our hard earned money on. We expect performance from that, right? Well, how, what's it, what's it do with hardwood? <laughs> Binds. Good grief, are you joking? I mean, what, I, I just don't understand what in the world, what, what I, I just don't have the words. Harnessing the power of my electron microscope, we can get some close detail shots in here. I always get a lot of hate when I break out the electron microscope. People, I think they're just jealous that they don't have one. Uh, but I mean, just look, I mean, it's, you can't cut straight. It, it's all, I mean, it's like trying to, imagine trying to do precision work with a chainsaw. Uh, I mean, it's, it's that bad. It binds in the kerf, it tears everything out. It's just, it's not suitable for anything that would require any sort of precision or even just basic, a basic straight cut. And of course, supporters of the nanoblade technology are gonna say, well, it's not a precise tool. It's just made for just cutting ends off or, or just trimming stock. I don't know what these cost in the old country, uh, but I saw one on eBay that was available with a charger for $199 plus $16 for shipping. So over $200 to get it to your door. So let's say, let's, let's do a little test here. Cutting stock, we have a little, we have a two by two right here of soft fur. And I'm going to give, and I've got a, what, a $27 Japanese pole saw. I'll, I'll get it every advantage. I'll even use my left hand, which I'm rubbish with, uh, and we'll see which one gets through the stock first. You ready? This is gonna be harder than I may have planned. Go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm terrible at my left hand. Even with that. It's so stupid. It's so, so stupid. Shame on you, Bosch. Shame on you. You should contact every person that bought one of these and give them double their money back with an apology handwritten by the engineer who concocted this moronic idea. I can just imagine the Bosch engineer watching this video. Okay, man, well maybe it wasn't quite, wasn't quite super good at the woodworking, but it's really great in the garden. Really great in the garden. So let's see, we've got a, a one inch dug fir branch here, green. Maybe it's the dry wood that the nano blade technology doesn't like. Um, how about uh, taking it out for tree trimming? Let's see. <laughs> I'm not yet halfway through. So that was super efficient and a huge waste of time. How long do you think that would take me to cut with a, a good, a nice silky saw or a itchy bond? I mean, a fraction of that time and then no charger, no, I mean, good grief, good grief. This is, this puts me off. I mean, I know there's worse things out there. I mean, I've shown worse things out there, some cheap Amazon tools and different things. The reason why I'm gonna judge this thing harsher than those companies. Those companies are not pretending to be anything. They're not pretending to be um, an honorable quality brand, touting themselves to be sitting, you know, in an ivory tower, you know, better than, than, than everyone else. Uh, but so, so you, you know, you gotta judge these things by, it's a, it's a totally different standard. You know, there's other, 
no name brands, I mean, they they don't really care. They're just pushing stuff out there and there's no market for it. Not everybody can, you know, maybe they need a drill to put together some Ikea furniture and that's the height of their ambition. It, that's a viable choice. You know, go buy a $20, $30 cordless drill on Amazon. But when you're Bosch and you put something out like this and you do instructional videos um, and, and you talk about how great it is, I mean, it's absolutely, it's just ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. I hope they never bring them into the States. I'm sorry, Europe, you have to deal with this, but um, that's it. So what do we learn? We learn that it's horrible. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys on the next video. Don't forget to click the thumbs up if you enjoy these videos and I invite you to subscribe and don't hate on me for flexing my electron microscope. You're just jealous you don't have one.